Okay, so this is Bruce from Hot Web Ideas, and I want to do a video tutorial on how to do WordPress menus the right way. Now, the interesting thing is that people hard code everything in WordPress, and they don't have to. I know that WordPress has a huge API when it comes to menus and everything else. It seems that Drupal also has a very confusing one as well, but since more websites are being done in WordPress these days, let's go ahead and do it. So now, on assortedproducts.com, I have this menu list, and it's done strictly with HTML. So if you go into the HTML, this is what I have right now. So I have my hard-coded menus. I don't want to do that. I want to do this through the WordPress menu editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is let me take some HTML here and comment out the menu. We're not going to do that anymore. <laughs> so, so I go ahead and refresh. Now right now I'm just editing assortedproducts.com which is a directory for the best e-commerce websites for holidays and it just lists all types of cool websites. Alright, so now I'm going to go into my back end on WordPress and I have this menu that I created. It's the main menu. So what happens is I want to create a theme location in my theme for this page menu and then we're going to add some WordPress code and PHP to display that menu. It's actually easier than you think. So the first thing we want to do is we have a primary menu. I don't want to do it that way. So I want to add a brand new menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my functions.php for my theme and I had this already so we're gonna copy this line alright register nav menu it gives you these menus that will show up over here in the theme menus and then you can place your menus over here so let's go ahead and change that let's call this the pages and let's just say top pages just like that now let's refresh I'm sorry let's save and then if we go to our menu page, we have a brand new top pages menu. And remember, I call the top pages right here in my theme location. So I don't want the main, well, I have the main pages and that's fine. So let's click save just to be on the safe side. So now we have our main pages menu in the top pages theme location. But we now have to go into our theme and I'm going to do this in header.php and I'm going to add it. So right now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add this code. So let's start some lines of PHP. Let's say WP nav, excuse me, menu. We're going to open up some parentheses and we're going to put an array here. Everything in WordPress is done in an array, an associative array. So this particular part of it is theme underscore locations. Theme location, excuse me. And then we're going to put the array assigner, assignment operator, and then we're just going to call whatever our menu name is. So we're going to do it here. It's pages. So let's just copy that. Let's go back and put that in here. Now, I'm going to save my theme. And go back to the home page and refresh. And lo and behold, our menu items are there. It works well, except for one problem. We want our menu items to go across the page. We don't want them to be in bullets. Now what's interesting is that the WP menu or nav menu command puts everything in ULs and, and LI elements for HTML. Now we can actually add more items to our array to change that. We can add divs but right now I'm just going to keep the UL and the LI. And the reason I, I know this is because if you go to page source and you search for that, see all. Well, this is my commented code, so let's go down here. We see right down here that we have a UL, 
and all of our hyperlinks are in li so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add this to my style.css we're going to get rid of those bullets so let's take this this is what wordpress assigns so let's go into my style.css let's add a brand new line so we can capture that ul and then i want to get the class that handles all of these li's so right now i see menu item looks like menu item is in all my li's so let's go ahead and let's add a class selector with a dot and let's just add some of these curly braces so the first thing i'm going to do is i want to turn off the bullets i want them to appear across so let's just say list style type is none let's save and we're going to refresh okay great so now our bullets are gone but we still don't have these items next to each other they're still on top so let's go and i'm using google chrome so i'm going to do inspect element and i'm going to see why they're breaking is this display block so i go to computed style and i'm clicking on display and i see list item well list item in html is sort of like block it lists items underneath each other but we don't want to do that so we're going to make it display inline so let's close that and let's just override that with our html with our css and let's say display inline like that let's refresh the home page and lo and behold it works really well so now all of my page menu items are next to each other they don't have bullets they look beautiful now i had to add a home link here so i'm going to go back to the wordpress menu editor and i'm going to add a new link over here and i'm just going to say www assortedproducts.com and just call it home we're going to add it to the menu and of course here it's going to move it up or drag it up and we want to add the e-commerce let's move that over there and click save now from that point this whole thing should work i click i refresh i click f5 and there it is my home link so everything's working out great and of course that's how it works in wordpress if you have an e-commerce website, you can definitely add it for free on assortedproducts.com. Thank you for listening.